hi everyone welcome back to the my channel my name is anil and in this angular tutorial we will see what is the reactive form how we can use it these are the points of the video first of all we will see what is the reactive form and then we have to import the reactive form module inside the app.module.php then we have to make some small html form and then we will just define the form group and then we can just get the value from the form all right so now the first question is that what is the reactive form so as you know in the uh, angular there is a two kinds of form one is the reactive and another is the template driven form so template driven forms are used when we just want to make some uh, very small forms and basic forms and the validation and handling of these template driven form are handled by the html right and now let's talk about the reactive reactive forms are used when uh, we need a uh, very complex form functionalities and the everything the form uh, of the reactive forms are handled in the uh, component.ts file all right even validation even how we can just put the values on them how we can just get the values on them everything is handled in the ts file all right so now let's start with uh, the second point that uh, we have to just import the react model in the app dot uh, model dot ts file so just come here and just import something from and here we can just simply write here at the rate angular and just then define forms and here we can just uh, mm, simply write here reactive form module and let's put this reactive form model inside the imports array like this all right and now that this work done uh, work has been done so we can just close this file now let's come to the html file and here we have to make a small form so just write here form we don't need any action in the angular and now let's define some input fields all right so name can be uh, user name and something like that and uh, we can make the placeholder also like placeholder username all right and after that let's take two br tags also so that we can just maintain some spaces and line breaks the same thing is also here we can just put the name is password and the type is also password and let's put the placeholder password like this so that we can understand why we are using this field and at the last let's make a button and we can just write here login and something text and the button type should be submit all right so now we have to define the two more things when we are using the form then we have to define a form group here for the reactive forms all right so just define here uh, form group all right and we can put the form group name also like uh, login form or whatever you just want to put the name all right and after that let's define the two more thing uh, one is the form control name like form control name and we can just put a name so let's say i'm just putting the same name with the username and the same thing is also we have to define with the password so just use like this and we can put the password here as in form control name so now let's see what we are ach achieving here we are achieved here the things but here you can see that we have some errors because we have to something import in the ts file all right so what we have to import we have to import the form controller and form group which we are just define these properties here all right so just write here import something from and let's define angular and let's form it. here just find the two things form control and second is form group like this all right so whenever you just uh, find that we have to just uh, assign this form groups and form names value so just take the name of login form and it should be the new form group all right so just use here 
create new form group and it will take an object in the parameter and here we have to define a key and pair value of the control names form controller so we have the user and user can be like this new form control all right this is a function and we can just put some blank value here for a moment and the same thing we can just define for the password and the value is also password for blank so now let's see what we are getting here yep now you can see that all errors are gone from here but uh, we are not able to get the values from this form so if i'm just going to define some values then we cannot get that how can i get them for that let's define a uh, ng submit event ng submit and this submit can be uh, like some function in like collect data or something like this right and let's take this collect data and define inside the app component and here we can just console dot warn this dot login form dot value all right so now let's try with some name like uh, i just want to put the name anil and uh, password can be one two three now let's try to hit now you can see that we are able to get the values here so this is all about the process that how we can define the reactive form how we can get the values and everything so if you are still confused you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care